Okay, so here we have the ESP32C3 module with just the bare minimum parts required to boot. We have two resistors here on GPIO 2 and 8 to select the proper boot mode. Then we have the um, RC filter on the reset pin. And then we have a button here that is used to get out of deep sleep. The 3.3 volts come in from here and is input directly to the module. On the other side, we have the power profiler kit. Okay, so we're at the computer now. And we can see here is the basic sketch I'm using to do the test. So I'm using ESP IDF 4.4. But I will link in the video description the exact sync commit so you can refer to the whole project. So basically I, I just configure a pin here to wake up from sleep, GPIO 0 in this case, and then here I just wait 5 seconds, then I go to sleep. Then we can move on to the Power Profiler Kit interface here. I have the test here, I ran it already, but I will rerun it live. But we will just go over what it's doing before. So what it does is I enable power, then it runs for 5 seconds and then goes to sleep. And then I press on the button and it wakes up, does the same thing and go to sleep again. So let's do it. I enable this, then I enable power, and then it will run for 5 seconds, go to sleep, and I will press on the button now. You can see it wakes up, and then go to sleep again. Now I turn off power, stop this, and we can go over it. So you can see here, it runs for 5 seconds. See here, it's 5 seconds plus initialization of the chip. And then here it goes to sleep. You can see average power consumption is as expected by the specification. And then here, the same thing, 5 seconds again, or thereabout. Sorry. And then here you can see same power consumption.